WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from a uh, partly cloudy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a mixed bag out there. That mix goes like this. The Dow's up 78. The Russell's up 9. The S&P is off 2. And the NASDAQ 100 down 94 points. That's about 7 tenths percent to the downside. You've got the semis off 10 bucks, about 3 tenths. The tranny's up 8 tenths, 120 points there. Gold is up $13. Silver's up 17 cents. Slides we crude up about 15. Natural gas off a penny. 30 year Treasury printed out 130 to 11 that's off seven ticks let's go take a look at what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart we take a look at the es mini we still have that sell the d point pattern with price simply consolidating with inside its daily profile that tells us folks that we've got resistance at 41 71 75 and support down at 40 76 spot volatility still well below its 50-day exponential moving average that gives the edge to the buyers the bulls out there if we take a look at the nq still has that a to B equals CD pattern with a price projection of 13,996. Price remains right now above the top of its daily profile. The top of its daily profile is 13,062 or 13,065. As long as price remains above that, well, odds favor. That's not an arm my top. Sorry, let me get rid of that. That uh, favors a further move higher. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it's consolidated with inside its daily profile. That's a both a structured profile. And they close today above 101.75 or 101.83 right now would really suggest to move up to 102.58. Goldilocks also forming a new profile yesterday. It has resistance at 20.40.90 and support in the 1974 area. It's really the support is 1974.20 to 1982.60. If we take a look at uh, silver, silver's got a TD9 count top that would be negated with a close above 25.29. A new profile did form yesterday. It is below price. That is a bullish message for silver. Light Street Crude still has a TD9 count top. But it just led to a sideways move. That top, by the way, would be negated with a close above 81.69. That would take price up to the next resistance area. For Lake Sweet Crew, that would be up at the 84.20 level. In the case of natural gas, it did go ahead and form another buy the D point pattern. Yesterday, a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. I can't recall which one is out there. Both of them. But in this case here, price is still unable to close above the center of that profile. That's a 219. That's where counter trend rallies always find resistance. And so far, that's what natural gas has done. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.